That's a sound I'm hoping to avoid for a while. I'm itching to get into the bush and escape these noisy machines for up to a week, if things go according to plan. I've got a fairly heavy load including my ice fishing gear, and there are some small lakes ahead where I can wet a line, if I can get there. But it's early in the season and conditions are hard to predict. In the dead of winter, many places are much easier to get to when everything is frozen solid. But until things really lock up, it can be the most difficult time of year for travel. I ran into this stream early on and hoped if I got across, it would be clear sailing ahead. The sides of the trail are lined with dead alders, so I lay down a thicker one, kick in a bit of snow, and carry on. I try to keep the toboggan out of the water, but inevitably it makes contact and ices up. Each time, the sled has to be scraped clean or it drags like a ton of bricks. Sticky snow also brought down lots of small trees across the trail, making progress even slower. I was on this trail late last winter, but evidently it's pretty rough early in the season until deep snow smooths it out. And as I would find out, there were also dozens more streams and pools to cross ahead of me. An old knee injury flared up to boot, so in all it was a tough haul, and after 5 of the 10 kilometers I hoped to cover, I conceded that I would have to camp under the tarp for the night and try to continue the following day. Well, this is going to have to do for tonight. It's pretty much forced to make camp here, losing daylight and the trail conditions allowed me to get half as far as I would have wanted, along with an old knee injury acting up today. so. Probably for the best that I don't get too far in, just in case as my knee could be locked up tomorrow. So it's for the best that I camp here for the night. I'll get the tarp up and see how things go tomorrow. Huh. Oh, it's boiling hot. Mmm. <laughs> yep. That's a burnt tongue. What a day. I've got the hot tent and my stove here, but I'm not going to set them up tonight. It's just too time consuming. There's not enough time left in the day. It'll be a tarp shelter tonight, and it's pretty mild. Minus four overnight. It's actually temperatures climbing. I just put a sweater and hat on because my sweat's cooling, but it's pretty pleasant out. Icy snow after a little melt period, but lots of snow in the way. Just trying to level this out a bit. Use this as a little nightstand. Big nightstand. Top bag down the side. Kind of nice actually. Contains me, prevents rolling, and yeah, feels like a little home. One good thing about this spot, it's got a tiny creek with a little pool here to get my water. A lot more convenient than melting snow, especially old snow like this, which is full of debris and just much less efficient to collect than liquid water. That ice cold water is freezing over quick. Look at the pattern in it, it's so beautiful. Almost looks like a leaf, the veins of a leaf. New stick stove, just a larger version of what I normally use, just a bit more power in the winter. This one's also steel. I wish it was titanium, but they don't offer one. Tons of paper birch and kindling around here. Should burn like gasoline. Now that it's going, I just feed sticks in through the front, and I'll put this crossbar on it to support the pots. Got veggie Mexican quinoa tonight, corn, onion, tomato, black bean, and quinoa. And it is really hitting the spot. It was a tough day, I'm not gonna lie. Not just the trail, the ups and downs and the blowdown and 
the wet spots and streams because of the mild temperatures, but because of my knee. Sleep on it, see how it feels tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. oh it feels good to lie down. My body is so spent. It's made good sleep, it's good feeling though. It's nice to wear yourself out sometimes. Looking forward to the wood stove and hot tent tomorrow night, but it's mild. I'm actually comfortable just like this with this really warm sweater on. It's nice to look at my little fire and tomorrow when the temperature starts to drop, I'll enjoy the wood stove and the hot tent. Waking up to a nice mild morning, but my knee has certainly locked up. Got a tensor bandage on it. And I'll do what I can around here, set up the hot tent, explore this area locally. Got some fruit rehydrating and powdered milk, coffee from my thermos. Put these down and it's time to get going. Yesterday when I was looking for a place to camp, I was also scouting it for potential hot tent locations. Just knowing that I would probably have to stay here tonight as well, given the state of my knee. And I'm glad I did because now I've got a good spot to set up. I can just transfer all my bedding over to the hot tent, which I'll set up right here. Aesthetically, I wouldn't say this is the most beautiful spot. Full of alder, which just doesn't look too pretty. So I'm looking forward to a good dumping of snow covering all of this. I'm supposed to get a good amount tonight. Really happy I got a window installed on this tent. Such a lovely feature. Got a dead birch limb for the front, pack it in with snow, and I won't go anywhere. Made a little tripod of dead birch branches to support the flue. It's supposed to be pretty windy tonight. Snare wire works well for this. This is actually picture hanging wire. And this tarp's gonna have to come down, obviously. So it's just gonna be coming right out here. I ordered the stove with a five inch stove jack so I can use my larger stove if I want to. And I just got this little fiberglass sheet to close the gaps when I'm using this pipe. All right, all set up. Just need some firewood. First, I'm going to explore this valley a little. Back to camp to look for firewood. A few down spruces right here, but this one looks pretty punky. It's been knocked over for a while. The bark's crumbling off. Look back here, there are two standing dead spruce. And they just sound and look a lot better. log is in amazing condition, really nice and dry. I like to cut one off the wide end and then use that as a little prop to keep this cutting end off the snow. This measurement is roughly the same length as my stove, 18 inches. So I'll lay that on here and cut just a little short of that. And the more I maximize the length of each cut, the fewer cuts I have to make. What a beautiful smell. 
I scouted the trail ahead with the drone and the fact that I had to stop yesterday was completely moot because the trail crosses this creek beside me a little ways up and there's no way, like it's not nearly frozen enough. So <laughs> I wasn't getting there either way. That's kind of a good feeling. Nicely. Oh, it's dry. Okay, good. I was worried there for a sec. Maybe it wasn't quite dry enough. It was certainly dead. But no, it's dry inside. Just a stubborn piece. It's always a good feeling. Got tons of fine splits, birch bark, splits, quarters, halves, and then some rounds over there. Just the top third of the tree I left as rounds. Rounds can be useful in controlling the temperature of the stove because they'll burn slower. Last task for today, and then it's time to cozy up by the fire. Wait for the storm to blow in. set up in here. Feels lovely. Got everything drying. Sleeping bag, pants, boot liners. I'm gonna have little booties to wear in the meantime. These boots are here. I also have spare boot liners. I guess I got a soaker, but yeah. Time to enjoy the fruits of my labor. So now that I know that my trail isn't viable, tomorrow I could either pack out or backtrack just a little on the trail I used yesterday and then go off on another trail that shoots off of it to a different lake. I'd love to start my ice fishing season. That was something I planned to do on this trip, but yeah, we'll see what my knee's up to it. Who knows? But I need to make sure I, I save my knee for hauling out. That's the hardest part is hauling a load and going up and down. Walking on flat ground is all right. But anyway, good day, and with the snow overnight, everything should start to get easier tomorrow, and the cold, only minus 12 overnight, so not that cold, but it's all helping to freeze things up on the trail, and, and the snow will level things out too, so. If I stay two more nights, probably be for the best. Cheers. I'm gonna hit the hay, hopefully wake up to a bunch of fresh snow tomorrow. It's coming down pretty heavily out there right now.
Well, lots of beautiful snow this morning. Well, a good coating of it, but unfortunately it was very wet snow. So it all kind of melted down and compacted. So there's very little added to the base, maybe even less of a base. So I won't be hauling out today. Let's see what happens. It's supposed to be more snow coming tonight, so. It's cool, I can see the steam of my coffee mug being sucked in by the draft. Just leave it right here. Let's see what happens if I close the flu damper. Yeah, more of the steam is just going up, not getting sucked in. Black bean burgers this morning. Cheeseburgers. It's interesting how these ferns have stayed green. And that's a month later than anything else is green. Everything else pulls back its chlorophyll. I brought some of them in yesterday to add traction in here so it's not so slippery, especially with the booties on. Sometimes I use spruce boughs, but only if they're really abundant, and here they're not at all. Trees are creaking, they're covered in icy snow, winds blowing up there, blue sky, sun, what a scene. Definitely calls for a hike. There's a different lake, uh, probably a two kilometer hike that way, I think I can get there. Definitely need to have a look around today. caked onto the bottom of this and it's amazing it, it glides like nothing in perfect conditions but with ice like this it will barely move even with no load so let's scrape all it off it's easy with this little windshield scraper I want to let the sun hit this after I do this to get it really nice and spotless so tomorrow I can haul out Good one, clean. Here's my turn. Amazing how these little streams stay open.
A scene like this will make you appreciate winter, fall in love with it even. I can't, can't describe or capture the beauty here, but if you've ever experienced a quiet, frozen lake in winter, you know what I'm talking about. It's dead quiet. With all the snow on the trees, there's absolutely no noise pollution. They just insulate from sound and yeah, that quiet is so nice to hear or not hear. Despite that the streams are open, I'm sure this is safe ice, but I'm not going to push it. I wish I could have brought my auger and fishing gear, but the trail was way too rough for that to bring my little sled. But I'm eager to get back to a trip with purpose, you know, where I'm trying to achieve something or get somewhere. It's nice to hang out, but I can only do that for so long. I definitely enjoy watching or making videos that have a purpose more than just chilling. That's just me. Some people like the opposite, but... I hoped to have a purpose on this trip, but it didn't pan out. Just warming up, I guess. And I'll be able to cover so much distance with the freight toboggan over big flat lakes. I'm really looking forward to that. Back to camp with a couple hours of daylight left. Just going to find a little more firewood for tonight to make sure I don't run out. I don't want to take down another full tree, I'll just scavenge what I can around here. Just need a little more. Not that cold, minus 10, but Cold enough to make this feel really good. Got some more rounds for tonight. Should be plenty. I'm not going to have a fire tomorrow morning. And I mentioned yesterday that birch doesn't dry. It's hermetically sealed, so it just rots. But I had to cut off this cool guy. Look at that mold. It's like blue colored. I certainly wouldn't start a fire with it, but once the fire is going, that'll burn. My daddy wasn't about that life, my granddaddy wasn't about that life, and I sure as hell ain't gonna be about that life. Oh, Lord, no. Now, why would anyone do that? Loading up the stove one last time, and it's off to bed. Minus 12 again this morning, and I wasn't planning on having a fire, but I've got leftover firewood, and I just can't resist. Let's get this going quick. Threw a little bit of birch bark in there, but mostly on top and, and burning down into this fire, so that it doesn't cut off the flow of oxygen up and out. If I put it all on top of the birch bark, then it's just going to bury it. Warmth, please.
lots of beautiful fresh snow again this morning. Time to load up this sled and haul out. Like this, and since I was in Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs>